What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Budget Series episode. And today guys, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at the wide receiver position. Now, if you guys are new to this series, what I like to do is take a look at some of the items in Madden 15 Ultimate Team that are underpriced in my personal opinion. And what we typically do is we compare them to some of the more expensive items in the game and try to draw some comparisons between, you know, what item might be going for 20, 30 times as expensive and is it really worth it to spend that when you can spend quite a bit less to get a card that's probably almost as good in most areas? So that's kind of what the concept is here for people that don't have a ton of coins to you know spend a million coins on their team or more like some of us do, but others don't have that at this point in time. So we try to really make sure that everybody gets onto at least closer to a level playing field here. And that's kind of what the budget episodes are for. So again, today, the position that we're taking a look at is wide receiver. And the very first thing that we always do is that we actually go in and take a look at the attributes that are most important for wide receivers. So this is just based off of my personal opinion. I know other people have differing opinions on this, and I'm not going to try and argue any of that. There are things that do go into making a quality player and, and this and that. But to me, these 12 attributes are the most important ones and that's why I included them in the video. So what you're going to see from the top left going down to the bottom right, first, speed, acceleration, jumping, catching, catch in traffic, spectacular catch, route running, release, run block, impact block, strength, and agility. Now guys, again, there's always differing opinions and it really depends on the type of player that you are, what is the most important attributes, but that's why I tried to kind of give you a variety of players here. We're gonna go through four different comparisons. I'm gonna give you guys who are you know, big receivers, small fast receivers, slot receivers, and then I'm just gonna give you one that I think is kind of like an overall really good overall receiver. So the first one that you're looking at here is obviously your speed receiver. And just to let you guys know, when you're comparing the attributes here on the left to the right, if it's a red attribute for that item, that means that that is lower than the other card. And if it's a green attribute, it's higher. And if it's yellow, then it's the same. So hopefully that makes some sense. It's just a real quick way for us to kind of compare the two. It doesn't really tell us in, in terms of color. It doesn't tell us how big of a difference it is, but you know, we can kind of tell based off of the, the point totals for that. So as you can see here in the first comparison, we have Travis Benjamin, the gold item for the Cleveland Browns road to the playoffs. He's five foot 10 and he's going for about 6,500 coins. And we're gonna be comparing him to Tavon Austin, team of the week from week 10. Now this is a throwback to Madden 25, so it is a little bit more expensive. But again, the idea is just to kind of get items that are cheaper, that are still comparable in most areas. So as you can obviously see, the Travis Benjamin does not stack up in terms of like overall attributes. It's definitely not as good of a card as the Tavon Austin. But I think in a lot of the areas that really matter, it's very, very close. These cards are a lot more comparable than I think you would first kind of think that they would be based on the fact that the Travis Benjamin's about 50 times less expensive than the Tavon Austin. So, all right, first things first, they're the same in speed. Acceleration, Travis Benjamin's too slower. So, I mean, there is a little bit of, of a speed difference here. Tavon Austin is slightly faster, but they're both still very fast receivers. The one thing that I do like about Travis Benjamin, though, is that he does have a two inch height advantage, and then he does also have a four point vertical advantage in terms of his jump. So that will make it so that he can actually jump up and make more plays on the ball. Tavon Austin at five foot eight is one of the smallest receivers in this game. So that sucks. It's not fun to use. I used him quite a bit in my uh, Madden 25 team. I used him and Trinidad Holiday, both of them. And to be completely honest with you, they were just kind of frustrating to use at times because they just couldn't go up and get any sort of a jump ball. So that's something Travis Benjamin's gonna be a little bit better at doing. He's still not huge. He's not a guy that you wanna throw fade routes to or anything, but he's got a little bit of ups to him. So that's pretty decent. The catching is something that surprised me a little bit as well. Tavon Austin only has an 83 catching. Now he does have an 89 catch in traffic and a 94 spectacular catch. So that makes it decent, but I still think his standard catch attribute leaves a little bit to be desired. Now, the one area that I will say that there's a pretty big difference between these two items in is that the route running and the release. 
are significantly better for Tavon Austin. So the route running is going to be the thing that kind of helps Tavon Austin get that extra speed boost almost. It's I guess it's not really a speed boost, but it basically translates into getting him more space in the open field, especially against man coverage. And then the release is something that really has to do with how he does getting off of the press uh, when the cornerback gets up in his face and tries to stop him from running his route. So Travis Benjamin is not going to be great in either of those areas. He's not horrible at route running, but he's not great. And at release, he's not good at all. He's pretty bad, to be completely honest with you. So if other people go out there and they tend to press a lot, you're probably going to struggle a little bit with your Travis Benjamin item. But then again, at, at your uh, Tavon Austin, he's not really going to be that spectacular at doing it either. So anyways, that's going to do it for the first set here. Hope that helps you guys out. There's a huge price difference between these ones. So hopefully that will give you guys an item that was is fairly comparable in most areas, like I said. Next on the list, we have our large bodied receivers. These guys are a little bit slower, but they're your big, big play guys as far as bombing it down the field, catching the ball in traffic and all that kind of thing. And what we have here is Alshon Jeffrey, the gold item for the Chicago Bears. He's 84 overall, and we're going to be comparing him to the 86 overall Vincent Jackson, Tampa Bay Buccaneers wide receiver item. And the price difference between these items is actually the lowest of the grouping here. And that's because Vincent Jackson's price has dropped pretty significantly over the time that the game has been out. And I think that just has a lot to do with the fact that he's kind of overrated in terms of his overall items here, uh, or his overall attributes. If you compare him to Alshon Jeffrey, he's barely better in anything. He's one speed faster, one acceleration faster, which is nice, don't get me wrong. But he only has four better for jumping, and his impact block and strength are better, but everything else, he's either the same or worse. His catching, his route running, release, and run block are all exactly the same. And then his catching, he's actually, or his catch in traffic, excuse me, he's actually one work, worse. And his spectacular catch, he's three worse. So that is pretty significant. He's also too lower in agility. So I actually think that there is a case to be made here that you could say that Alshon Jeffrey is actually a better item than Vincent Jackson. Now, I wouldn't go quite that far because I do like the addition of the two inches of height and the four points for the, the jump attribute that Vincent Jackson gives you. But overall, I love this Alshon Jeffrey item. It's definitely one of the best budget wide receivers. If you have less than 10,000 coins to spend on a wide receiver, you could do a lot worse than this Alshon Jeffrey. He is going to make big plays for you. He's going to be able to go up and get passes and he's going to catch the ball in traffic, which is something that is very difficult to find in an item that is going for a budget price. Next on our list today, we have our slot wide receivers. And obviously, if you think about it, who is the most prototypical slot receiver in the NFL right now, at least in terms of production? And you have Wes Welker of the Denver Broncos on the right side of your screen, five foot nine. He's going for about 90,000 coins. This is the team captain edition of Wes Welker, the elite card. And he, we're going to be comparing him against a Brian Hartline 81 overall BCA version. This is a gold item. And he's going for about 7,500 coins. So a pretty huge price difference here. More than 10 times price difference. Uh, it's about a 12 times price gap between these two items. So that is pretty significant. Uh, but I actually think that your attributes here are not all that different. Take a look at your speed. Acceleration is three faster for Wes Welker, so that's nice, but he's only one faster in the actual speed attribute. His jumping is three higher. However, he is significantly shorter. He's five inches shorter than Brian Hartline, so that is significant. If you compare them in terms of their actual ability to go up and get passes, Brian Hartline is going to be better despite the fact that he has a lower jump attribute because he's taller to begin with. Then you take a look at their catching and their catching traffic. Both of them are great in this area. 92s across the board for Brian Hartline, 95s for Wes Welker in those attributes. Then you go to spectacular catch, and Brian Hartline actually has an 87, whereas Wes Welker only has an 84. So that's pretty interesting. I, I was kind of surprised to see that. I'm not super, I guess I don't have a whole lot of expectation of Wes Welker going out there and making, you know, amazing um, jump up and one-handed catches or anything like that, but I don't really think of Brian Hartline as being that guy either. So it's kind of interesting though that Brian Hartline would have a, a three better attribute in that area. 
Route running, of course, that is something that we always are interested in our slot receivers with. And Brian Hartline does a great job at a 90. Now, of course, Wes Welker at the 95 is going to be one of the best route runners in the game. And you can imagine that he is, you know, known for being a, 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 an amazing route runner. Probably one of the best route runners in the history of the game. So that's not particularly surprising. But Brian Hartline is certainly serviceable as a 90 in that attribute. Then in release, they're about equal 82 to 83. And run blocking, they're about equal again. Uh, Hartline does have a better impact block by five, but you know, at a 40, it doesn't really matter. And then he does also have a 60 strength, which is significantly better. So overall, I think these items, like I said, are fairly close to one another. They're really not that much of a difference. I would actually personally say that for the price, I would rather go with Brian Hartline. I, I just don't think it's worth it to spend 12 times as much on an item to get Wes Welker unless you're just obsessed with having your team be all elites or, you know, a higher overall value. But if you don't have the coins, definitely go out there and pick up a Brian Hartline, pair him with your Alshon Jeffrey, pair him with your Travis Benjamin because these guys will give you a solid wide receiver grouping without having to spend a million coins on your team. And last but not least is my favorite item of this grouping. We have Brandon Tate on the left-hand side of your screen. He's going for about 5,000 coins, and we're going to be comparing him to the team of the week, Steve Smith from, I don't remember even what week it is. I want to say it was like week four, week five, or something like that. But he's 87 overall, and he's an elite item, going for about 70,000 coins. So very big price difference here. You've got, what, a 14-time price difference between Brandon Tate to Steve Smith. So, of course, again, very significant here, and we definitely have to keep that in mind when we're comparing these two items. So, first things first, look at all the green on the left side of your screen here. Brandon Tate is better in the vast majority of the attributes that we look for at wide receiver. First of all, he's six foot one versus Steve Smith being five foot nine. So that's a significant upgrade. That's a four inch difference in terms of just their height. Then he adds on a five point jump attribute on top of Steve Smith. Then you take a look at the fact that he is faster with better acceleration and significantly better in both of those areas. Three faster in speed, four better in acceleration. His catch in traffic is five better. His spectacular catch is one better. He's nine better as a run blocker. They're the same in terms of impact blocking. And then the strength, he's five better as well. The only areas where Steve Smith is actually better than Brandon Tate is route running, release, and agility. That's it. That's it, guys. I mean, if, if you're looking for route running, I understand. I get it. Route running is an important aspect of this game. But my personal opinion is that all of the other areas that Brandon Tate is so much better in more than make up for it. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't really make this statement very often, but I think that Brandon Tate, the road to the playoffs item, is better than Steve Smith team of the week. I know it sounds crazy. They're five points difference in overall. One's an elite, one's a gold. Brandon Tate's better. He just is. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, it comes down to looking at the attributes. You can talk about Steve Smith in real life significantly better than Brandon Tate. Don't get me wrong. Brandon Tate's the most meh receiver that you're ever going to come across in the NFL. The guy doesn't really do anything of significant value for the Bengals. Steve Smith, on the other hand, having a pretty good career resurgence this year for the Baltimore Ravens. But in their Madden 15 Ultimate Team items, Brandon Tate is better. So I hope that helps you guys out. I hope you are able to go out there and find this Brandon Tate, pair him with the other guys that you see on this list, and I think you are going to have a very successful wide receiver group, and you're not going to have to spend anywhere near as much as some of these items go for. You can get your entire group of wide receivers that I put on this list for about half the price of this Steve Smith item. So that should tell you something. Thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. And if you're new to the channel, please also press the subscribe button. If you have any suggestions as far as other budget wide receivers, please let me know in the comments section below. And please, if you're going to leave those comments below and you're gonna tell me this guy is so great or this guy is so great, let me know why. What is it? Is it his jump attribute? Is it his speed and acceleration? Let me know what it is in terms of numbers. If you just tell me, He's good because he plays well for me. That's not good enough. That's that's just completely uh, <laughs> that's just completely situational. There's no fact base uh, backing that up whatsoever. And that's what I like to do in the budget series. I like to give you guys the hard facts and give you guys the best possible players for your money. 
So thank you guys again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.